Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the most epic unboxing for you guys. It includes stuff that I never thought about getting before. Um, I am just truly exploring the world of Louis Vuitton and it's so exciting. And if I hadn't gone in store, I definitely would have never picked these items out online. So I am so excited to share these items with you. I have a couple pieces from the amazing Crafty Collection. I have, I think it's called a ready to wear item and then a fragrance for you guys. So I am just so excited to share. Oh, I am just thrilled to be exploring different things. Like I feel like I have bags now that I really like and enjoy and then now I'm just truly exploring other aspects of Louis Vuitton like their accessories, their fragrance, their shoes, things like that. Let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I'll just go in order from which I picked the items out. The first item I'm going to share with you I actually had put on hold the day I picked up my Alma BB. So this is not the item because this is a different video but I put them aside together but this item was part of the crafty collection so I couldn't purchase it until Friday and I went on Thursday to get this one so I could have waited but it's just another excuse to browse even longer and more so here we go is this beautiful box Here she is, this gorgeous, gorgeous bandeau. I am living for it. So they have this one and they have a cream one and it's reversible so you have the black with the cream as well. And this is going to look absolutely amazing with the Alma for fall time. I am carrying this now because I wanted to use her. Um, but I am totally, this is going to, this is going to be like my fall bag. I just know it. Um, so I'm so excited to tie this on. You can tie it either way. But I love this orange color. It's absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to do a close up of this for you. So it's the orange with the black LV logo. There's that, and then on this side it does say Louis Vuitton, and then again it's reversible, so you get like a two-in-one. I love pieces like that, like this, uh, the circle bracelet I have, I, you can basically wear it like four different ways. You can wear it like this, you can flip it inside out and do the black, and then you can you know, wear it like that if you even wanted to, and then again flip it and wear it with the black on the outside so I'm just so excited I'm gonna try to tie this on um, myself and if I can't I will go back and see Val and have her help me so this is absolutely stunning and I was talking to Val about it and she's my SA um, and I think bandeaus are just so great because especially for like a limited edition collection um, they're not too big of a commitment as far as like, you know, a big bag like the Neverfull or Speedy B. Um, it's not too much. It's just like a little, you get a little experience of the collection. They are within a good price range. This is around 200. It was like 185, I think. Um, so it's, in my opinion, that's attainable for me, you know. So even if I wasn't able to get another piece that I did, I totally would have just gotten this one and that was my plan and then when I saw this other item I just casually I hadn't even like really thought about this item before I went to the store and I just casually mentioned like oh do you have this this other item and she said yes I do and I like looked at it and I was excited about it and then I just thought it was going to be more expensive than it was but then when I saw the price I was like I could do that like it, I could get down with that so I'm going to open that one next. I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure I know which is in each box, so yeah. This one is next. So here we go. 
try to slide. I'm having like a wardrobe malfunction here. And then I love these magnetic closures. They are just the best. So can you tell what it is from the size? Like this piece is absolutely stunning. Oh, they only got one. They only had one in the store. And my essay was like, I don't think we're going to get another. And I was like, I decided that I wanted it before she even said that. She said that the day I went to pick it up, I saw it. I picked the rest of these items out a few days before I went back. Um, so, yeah. This... I like I was like I was trying on shoes I was trying on other things and I had a white top and jeans on and I was just like holding this up like a, as like a clutch and it was just incredible like it's beautiful the what stands out the most to me and also my essay was the LV here so it's not like too much I think this in a handbag is absolutely gorgeous um, but once you get like the handles involved, those are like, they have black and then the LV's white, I believe. And so it can get busy. This, it kind of looks a little bit busy, but it all just like absolutely flows together. And these colors, I'm telling you, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. They are probably my three favorite colors aside from yellow. Um, this orange color is just absolutely phenomenal. The white slash cream color is amazing. And then, of course, the black. I like how this part is black. It would have been cool if it was orange, too. But I think the black really just adds a nice, like, edgy accent. And this was made in France. I've been getting so lucky with all of my pieces. They're all made in France. Um, that's not usually a big deal to me, but it's, like, I feel, like, extra special. So it has a nice, smooth zipper. And then the interior is white. I like that it is white. Um, but I also wouldn't have mind if it was orange or black. So I think any color it is would have been great. Um, and then we played around with it. So like this is what made me decide like oh for sure I want it. So you can totally like tie the bandeau. So you can like tie the bandeau to the toiletry and make it a shoulder bag. How fun is that? That is so, so cute and so much fun. You can get like a black chain strap for it. It's just like, it's so much fun and it's not something like I would typically go for. Val gave me this idea but like didn't want to do it to the bag until like it was mine. So, you know, in case like she accidentally zipped this in it, you have to be super careful. So if you do it, use your discretion. This is just absolutely stunning. I... I'm really glad that I got these two pieces from this collection. Again, this this item was $6.75 and I think that I think the I think the original ones are almost $600 anyway, if I'm not mistaken. So I mean to have a piece like this is just absolutely so much fun and just like I'm so excited about it. Um it's like funky, it's different, but it's just like it makes a statement. So when I was wearing that casual, casual outfit. I, when I tried on like the shoes, it just made the statement or this bag just made the statement. It just spe speaks for itself. Um, and then another way you can tie it, I think I would do the black side. You would have to like play around with it, but having the bandeau tied around it is just, it's so freaking cute. Uh, it's just so beautiful and I am just like honored, honestly, like it sounds crazy. But I feel honored to have like such a special piece. I've never, besides like the multicolor, this collection really just like wowed me. And once I saw it in person, I was like, yeah, I totally, totally love that. Next, I, um, Val brought up to me that she wanted me to try a fragrance. And I didn't really think about the fragrances a ton. Um, I reposted, there was a tag on Instagram and it was like, what's your favorite fragrance? And a couple people posted their favorite Louis Vuitton fragrances and I reposted it on my story and she's like, wait till I show you this one. 
and I was like okay and then I smelled it and I put it on my skin and I put it on a couple times and I was in the store for almost a couple you know almost a couple of hours so I really had time to like have it go with my body chemistry and like really just like seep into my skin and just like experience all of the different notes in it because Louis Vuitton fragrances I looked at more yesterday and they are unlike any fragrance I've ever experienced in my entire life um I they are just such high quality the notes in them are just so they're so um bold but at the same time I don't know it just like the description you can literally smell each note in there I feel like with some perfumes it all just blends together and it's not really you can't really pick out each note that they list but with Louis Vuitton fragrances like in the beginning you'll smell a little bit of this and then over time you'll start to smell this and the fragrance not like boom in your face like oh my god someone has perfume on it just smells like it's a part of you and it's just absolutely delicious that is the phrase that Val uses and it's absolutely like spot on it's just delicious it's amazing and then when I was in bed that night I still had it on my skin and I just kept smelling it and I texted her and I was like please put that aside for me and she um she sent me a picture of my pile and she's like I low-key had it like in their stash anyway so I'm like I adore her she's so funny she didn't have a sample of it but I was just like already obsessed with it so that is what this beautiful box is is yeah I didn't even tell you guys which one it is this is California dream I'm going to open her up I got the 100 ml yeah what I love about these fragrances is like I said it doesn't it's not like you know when someone has too much fragrance on it's just like it hits you in the face it's like almost sickening and like overwhelming at times this is not like that at all it's just like when someone like Someone who in the store was wearing it, another sales associate, she like walked by and it's just like you get this whiff of it and it's just so like, it's gentle but it's like strong enough that you smell all the notes in it. It's just, it's undescribable. It's seriously, I'm not just saying it because I've been on like a Louis Vuitton kick and that I'm like, you know, whatever. It's literally the best scent, not even just this one, any of them I've been smelling because um, I smelled three others yesterday and I was like on the treadmill today and I could like literally still like vividly smell it not even because it was on my skin but I just remembered how it smelled that's crazy right but it's just it's unbelievable and like other perfumes I have it's just not even close to it at all it's like totally not the same she matches my nails that's so cute and the fragrances you have to like it has to be unopened so now I own it like you I don't think you can return it once you open it like this here we go I'm going to open up from the side and be super careful oh my gosh I've never like seen this bottle she kind of explained it to me like what it would be like but like their samples obviously don't have all the packaging but she told me that it would have this oh that's so cute It says California Dream Louis Vuitton in her sleeve. Oh my gosh. And I had to ask her because I've seen these bottles before and it literally looks like you just pull it off and like you pour it. And I was like, um, does it have like a spritzer? And she's like, you've never seen it before? And I was like, no. Um, oh my god. This is gorgeous. I like literally want to just like get rid of all of my other perfumes and just have like a signature scent. There's another one from them that I really want and I will be getting at some point. I don't know when. Um, but this is just divine. So California Dream, the bottle is absolutely just ugh, phenomenal. Oh my gosh. I don't have perfume on yet today. It's just so nice. It's so different. Like, normally I'm, like, Elizabeth James Nirvana, like, musky, 
scents, um, like the black one, um, or I have a couple Jo Malone ones I just got. Um, it's just so different. I'm trying to see. Let me look up the notes for you guys. Um, but yeah, look at that. Like the the bottle is just absolutely stunning. Oh my god. And Val's always like, of course, like, she'll say I need something and she'll say like eventually, but like, to me, that means like tomorrow because I just don't have self-control with certain things because I just get like, I get excited and then it's like, okay, I just, I want it now. I, like, I don't have patience for certain things because I'm like, okay, I can wait, but then... It could be sold out or it could, you know, whatever. California. It says, Mandarin as passionate as sunset. It is lengthening of a perfect day. Watching nightfall, drinking in colors, standing before the horizon in its iridescent fragrance. The master perfumer, Jacques, I don't know how to say the rest of his name. I'm not going to try. Holds onto the moment, captures the resonance of a sunset. The ardent mandarin is consumed by joyfulness tempered by the diaphanous ambient and subtle warmth and the evening gets underway as graceful vanilla tinged benzone en envelops the skin in an affectionate balm as light as a summer night as that you can order this fragrance and receive a complimentary sample so you can discover the fragrance before wearing or gifting it um because if you have to return it, it has to be unopened in order for you to get a refund for this. So the detailed features, it says Mandarin, Ambred, and Benzone, or Benzone, I don't know how to say that. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking, the mailman just got here, of course, delivering a package. Um, so yeah, I will, I will try to leave all these items below if I can, or at least this one. This one is out of stock online, so just call your local store and see if they have it. My, the fragrance was just absolutely amazing. Add it to your wish list, and then also, if it says discover in store, you can put in your zip code and see if there's any stores near you, or you can try to call a store and see if it'll ship to you. What I thought about is putting, like, because I was kind of just putting these all, like, separate in the box, in, like, a bag, and I'm like, let me just keep the ribbon that went with that box together. So I just, it's more organized. I'm like kind of OCD like that. Now the final reveal. Here we go. Going out with a bang. I, I can't. So I go in and I had these like gold, they're right over there. They're like gold Birkenstock type looking shoes. And the, another, my sales associate was taking care of another client at the time. And so I was in there and Andrea was like, oh, have you seen these shoes? And I'm like, what are those? Um, and she's like, let me go get them for you. Like, what size are you? So she grabbed a couple sizes. The first one, I told her I was an eight and they run small. So I had to go with a 39. Um, so that'll be what I tell you before I open it. go oh <laughs> there's shoes of course because I've been talking about sizes oh my god oh that literally collapsed <laughs> like the box just collapsed okay here's one I'll, I'll show you this and then I will show you them together. Ta-da! Oh my god. These are beautiful. They are beautiful. So these are called the Bomb Dias and they are just, they have a nice patent black they're so soft they work they work really well for my feet so the arch that they have in this it's not like too crazy these fit my feet perfectly my the shape of my foot it just works I know um, the other girls in my family have bunions so it's like where 
the, basically this part of your toe sticks out because your toe is like basically dislocated. I don't have that, not yet at least. Um, so these work really well with my feet. I wear these types of shoes all the time. So that's why when she's like, oh, try them on, and I fell in love with them, and I saw the price, and the price is not... Okay, it's a lot because it's a designer shoe. It was less than $1,000, significantly less than $1,000, and I know I'll wear them. That's the thing. Like, there are certain shoes that I've been looking at, and, you know, since I've tried them on in the store, um, because I have three pairs that I really want now that I've tried them on and I'm, like, obsessing over them. But I went with these first because, one, it's summer, and two... I wear this type of shoe all the time, so I know it's a good buy for me. I'm not going to buy Christian Louboutins because I don't wear heels like that. Like, I will wear slides because that's how I dress. These are just like a statement piece that you can wear to dress up your basic looking outfit. Um, it's just, they're just gorgeous. So let me open the other one and show you the pair together. But basically, what I'm just trying to say is... Get a shoe that you know you'll wear. Um, another girl came in when I was trying these on again, like before I purchased them. I knew I was going to get them, but it's just fun to look at all your stuff again before you buy it. Um, that's what I've been doing when I go in. And so she, they were like, oh, those are really cute shoes with her mom. And I was like, I was like, you need them. And I told her how much they were, and they were like, that's not bad. And um, the only thing was, is I, <laughs> after Val and I wrapped up, um, we were like, let's go sneak and like see what she's doing and see how she's liking them. And the only thing is, is that she doesn't own Birkenstocks yet. So she doesn't, I mean, it's definitely not the same material, obviously it's not, but the style, um, if she doesn't already own that, how does she know she'll like them? I own like seven pairs of Birkenstocks or Birkenstock type looking, feeling shoes. So I know I will wear these. They are just absolutely, absolutely incredible. I am so excited to have these. Again, these are a size 39. These are made in Italy. They're just so beautiful. Let me know if you guys love the Crafty Collection. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and so fun. And I just, it's such like, a, this reminds me of fall. Like, it's just, it's kind of funky, but it's also like the... LV in the middle is like what grabs my attention and then it's just like so well done so well done I'm just oh. and then the Fando again if you're wanting something from Louis Vuitton and you want to like dress up your bags or whatever like I think everyone has to push up Matisse right you people may even have the same bandeau as you but you're not going to see someone walking around with the exact same purse you have with the exact same bandeau you have in a town like mine um, you know, it's just so customizable. It's fun to play with things like this. They're not, again, huge in investments, um, as much so as, like, a bag would be. Same thing with a toiletry. It's a good size piece. You can still get the entire experience of the collection without having to commit to a three, two, three thousand dollar bag. Um, so I'd highly recommend you getting your hands on one of these pieces if it's your cup of tea. Like, these colors just, like, it's so warm to me. It's just fall. It's just absolutely incredible. I cannot wait to tie this on my Alma. Again, I'm going to use my Pochette Matisse for the rest of the summer. And then this is going to be like my go-to fall bag. Me and Val kind of talked about it. Like, yeah, that's going to be like your September bag, like for sure. Um, and then the shoes, the shoes are just incredible. They fit me perfectly. They are comfortable. I know I'll have to like wear them in a little bit but overall I mean they're beautiful so uh, I am just so excited um and that perfume I just absolutely adore it I adore it so that is everything I got with Val this week um I think I'm going to upload this one first before some of my other videos because I just I think that this is more exciting and the collection's new so if you want to get your hands on it you should definitely like jump the gun as soon as possible because they are going to sell out of this and it's going to be very hard to get and then if you you know regret it later then you're going to end up paying like hundreds of dollars above retail for something like this on the pre-loved market i just i don't play that game 
I just don't. So I'm just so excited. The experience gets you. The experience gets me. It's just me and Val together are just absolutely, our chemistry is just flowing and just like dynamic. It's so good. Um, I don't know. I am I thank God. I am so blessed. I am grateful. Um, and as always, these items bring me joy. They do not fulfill me and make me happy necessarily. Um, so I always want to keep that in mind that these are fun things. They are luxury items. They are not necessary for me to be happy. It's a fun experience when I'm in the store, but you know, it's, it's all about what's in here. So if you, you know, I've saved my money for so long, like so long that I just have been splurging and just enjoying these items because they will be most likely forever pieces for me. And so investing now is not a bad thing while I can. Um, and you know, who knows what can happen in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any of these items, if you have the perfume, if you have the bomb dias and what you think of them. Again, I wear these shoes. I wear this type of shoe five days a week at least. If you had to choose a shoe from Louis Vuitton, what would it be? I also have a pair of sneakers and boots that I'm looking at because um, I wear sneakers and boots a lot. But again, I would not. I tried on the Star Trek or Star Blazer or something. I don't know. The big like chunky heel ones. They're gorgeous. I loved them. I had so I like stood in them for like 45 minutes in the store. Um, but I would get more use out of a boot than those type of boots with the heel. So if you had to pick a shoe from Louis Vuitton, what would you get? You know, again, I wouldn't pick a heel because it's just not something that I wear. I'm very casual. I like to be comfortable. So that is like my biggest thing is like, I have to be comfortable when I'm wearing shoes or clothing or anything for that matter. Um, but yeah, let me know how you liked all of these pieces. Would you pick any of these pieces if you went out? Um, if you told me that I would have any of this last week, I would not believe you. I wouldn't, you know, be like, no, <laughs> it's just like all just like happening and I don't really know how to explain it. It's incredible. So thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying the content, please subscribe to my channel. I just uploaded a pack with me video and um, that was with my Speedy B and I kind of, um, I wrote in the video, like if there's like um, text boxes throughout the video, um, I ended up having to return that bag because there was mold in it. My experience as far as like returning it and communicating with the seller was totally amazing. They were like totally willing to help me and accept the return. I had even tried to clean it. Um, I sent them pictures. I wrote a description of like I did use vinegar on the inside to make the smell go away um, and they still accepted it and gave me a full refund. The item had significant damage that was not, um, I guess I'll just say it now, there was um, significant damage in the bag, on the bag, all around the bag, on all of the vaquetta. Basically if I wanted to keep the bag I'd have to replace all the vaquetta and it'd be, I'd be losing money. I should just go buy a new one if I'm going to do that. Um, and it was not listed in the description that it had mold in it and on it. Like it was mold all on the vaquetta. I thought it was just watermarks and then I messaged the seller and I was like, is this water or mold in your opinion? And they said they thought it was mold and I was like, <laughs> I looked at the description again because I thought, you know, I could have missed something and it was not in there and I was like, you know, what can you do to help me? I wanted a partial refund and they couldn't do it because they only wanted to give me $100 and I was like, that's just, I'm sorry, it's not going to cut it. I've already attempted to clean it. I told them the products I used and sent them all the photos of all the angles of the bag, everything. And again, they accepted it and were just phenomenal to work with. So it was kind of unfortunate. I do still love that bag. It could be something I add far into the future if I really wanted it. Again, it's so cute. I really adore it. But even with it gone, I have a couple of new bags and I'm, I'm content. I'm content with my bag collection. Um, but in the very far future, like if I had an opportunity to get it again, I would. So yeah, that is kind of what happened with that. I just wanted to kind of briefly mention that in case there was any questions about it. Um, cause I mean, that took a couple minutes. I didn't really need to make a whole video on it, 
um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment down below any opinions you have about any of the pieces I got, how you like them, if you don't like them and why, um, what you would choose instead. Um, my dad's mowing, so I should wrap this up. But I will talk to you guys very soon. Follow me on Instagram. I will put my, uh, my title here and also in the description box. I'd love to follow you guys back and um, let me know if you guys have a YouTube channel because I will watch your videos, like, and subscribe to yours as well. And yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.